Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Stephanie, and today I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my skin care journey. It's been a very frustrating journey, and it's been a very long one as well. So if you guys wanna see more skincare related videos, give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like always. If you haven't subscribed, like, what are you doing at this point? Like, subscribe. My journey starts when I was in middle school. So when I was in middle school, of course, you're going through puberty and you know, as a young girl, you're about to get your period. And you So when I was in middle school, I used to get a lot of acne around my mouth. So I used to just break out around my mouth and around my chin. And my mom was actually working at a doctor's office at this point. So she knew other doctors. She was cool with people from other offices. So she knew people from this dermatologist's office. We went to the dermatologist and she prescribed me minocyclin. So minocycline is good for people who have acne. Um, it's a pill, so you take it orally. Your skin will break out before it gets better. When you first start taking it, you will start to break out and you're gonna think like, oh my God, it's getting worse. But no, the more you take the pill, the more your skin will clear. So I seen a big difference in my skin. I was not breaking out, my skin was looking nice. Like I loved it, but so this was the last few months of being in eighth grade. And you know, I was getting ready to go to high school and the high school that I was going to had cheer tryouts. I was really interested in being a cheerleader. I just love performing and so I was really into it. So I went to cheer tryouts and the tryouts were inside and outside. You had to go outside to do some stunts and then inside was the whole choreography part. Point is, so because I was spending a lot of time outside, I was under the sun. But the dermatologist never told me that my skin would be more sensitive to the sun and never told me that I should be wearing sunscreen. So because I was spending a lot of time outside, I ended up getting a really bad sunburn. Like my whole nose was sunburned, like under here. If I have pictures, I will insert it, but it was so bad. Like it was, like I had burns. Like I literally had a burn here. Like it was just a big burn from my nose up until under my eyes. And it was really bad, like really bad. After a couple months of that burn finally like going away, I got really bad like eye wrinkles and it's because of that medication. So if you do plan on taking that medication or any type of acne medication, whether it's orally or topically, make sure you're wearing sunscreen. Make sure you're wearing sunscreen, please do not go outside without sunscreen and they did not tell me that. So now I have eye wrinkles, thanks a lot. So after that incident happened with the whole sunburn thing, I was still taking the minocycline for a few months after that. Then I decided to stop taking it. Um, I decided to stop taking it, one, because I was scared of the whole sunburn situation and two, my skin looked good. So I didn't feel like I had to continue taking it if my skin was already looking good and I wasn't getting acne. But let me tell you, I wish I did not stop taking it because my skin ended up getting worse. Throughout high school, I would get acne. Um, it wasn't terrible acne, but I would get acne, whether it was on my chin, around my mouth, on my cheeks. Um, once in a while, I'll get some on my forehead, but it was. It still wasn't to the point where it was like, oh my God, you have so much acne. But I did have pimples. I did get pimples sometimes. And I mean, it's normal to get pimples. It's normal to get acne. So I wasn't really stressing on it. It was just like, okay, like I'm getting acne, whatever. But in 2015, my senior year in high school, I started to get real stressed out because you know, you're getting ready for prom and you know, you're getting ready for college. You're applying places and you're doing this and you're doing that. So it's a lot going on and so, I start to get so stressed out, like so stressed out to the point where like my cheeks start to get so much acne. And me, I'm a picker. I like to pick my pimples and my blackheads and all that. And that's honestly a mistake that I made. Over the years, I had always picked my pimples. It was just something that I always did and I never seen any acne scars. So I just thought like, okay, here's another pimple. I'm just gonna pick it, it's gonna go away and I'm not gonna get any acne scars. Like I was that ignorant to think that I could not get acne scars. But this time around, my acne was a lot worse and my pimples were a lot bigger and so i still thought i can pick them and i get acne scars but i was wrong i started to get so many acne scars because i would just pick at them which don't do don't pick your pimples i don't care how ugly it is don't pick your pimples so then because i had minocycline before and i had used it before i just thought like hey i'm just gonna go to the doctor i'm gonna show my pimples my skin's getting a lot worse and they're just gonna give me the minocycline but no 
that's not what happened. I went to the doctor and I was like, hey, you know what? Like I'm breaking out really bad. My skin is so much worse. Like I was on minocyclin before, like can you give me minocyclin? They said no. They said, you have to try topical things first. If those things don't work, then we'll give you the minocycline. But they weren't handing out the minocycline anymore. And they used to. And at the time, I didn't like anything topical because I'm the type, like, I'll use it a couple times a week and then I'll forget. Like, I just won't put it on. It'll just, like, stay there and I won't use it. But I had no choice. I could not get minocycline unless if I was going to go back to the dermatologist, which by that time my mom wasn't working at the doctor's office so we didn't have the hookup like i would have to pay for the doctor's visit at this point and pay for the prescription which i wasn't working i didn't i didn't have money for that you know so i just took the topical treatment um it was a retin-a cream i don't remember what percentage and i don't remember what brand i actually used it in my skincare video which i will link up here you guys want to see that because I still have some of that cream and anyway it just promotes faster cell turnover so that it reduces the amount of acne that comes through and it begins to make the acne scars go away so that's what I had to use and this time I knew that I had to wear sunscreen I knew that I was gonna be sensitive I knew that if I was gonna use it I should only use it at night because my skin was already very sensitive and I learned that from taking minocycline I was using the Retin-A every night because I was just so desperate, my skin started to get so bad, just nasty, just bad. And I was just so worried because I was like, okay, well, I'm getting ready to go to prom. Like, I wanna look cute, not have pimples on my face. As soon as I seen that my skin was getting worse and I was breaking out a lot more, I stopped using it. I was like, no, I'm not doing this. When I stopped using it, it left me with so much acne, a lot more than what I started with. So. I was stressing about that, I was stressing about school, stressing about prom, like it was just a lot going on so I was like breaking out so bad at this point. And this is where my skin really started to take a turn. So in 2015, 2016, my first couple years of college, my skin was terrible. These first couple years in college is when I really started to wear makeup. This is when I started to wear foundation and I started to wear bronzer and blush and all this stuff because I never used that stuff in high school but because my skin was so bad and I was breaking out so bad I just felt like I wanted to hide it like I felt so bad about my skin I didn't want anyone to see it like once my makeup came off I'm not leaving the house like that's how bad it was like I just didn't want anyone to see me without my makeup so that also contributed to me breaking out even more so here I go again I went back to the doctor I was like hey you know what this is really bad and I still thought for some reason that they would give me minocycline Again, they didn't. Um, they ended up giving me a Retin-A, but at a lower percentage. I started to use it a lot more, and this time it didn't make me break out as bad. I did have a couple breakouts when I started using it, but they ended up going away and my skin was looking a little better. Also, on this trip, when I went to go see the doctor, they also told me that I had PCOS. For those of you who don't know what that is, that is polycystic ovarian syndrome. This can lead to women growing cysts on their ovaries. Um, a lot of the times women don't actually get the cysts on their ovaries, they just get the symptoms of PCOS, which is really bad acne, hair growth in unusual places. So that was news to me. I didn't expect for there to be a bigger reason as to why I was getting so much acne. I just thought, oh, it's just hormones, but I didn't know that it was because I had PCOS. So I wanna say in about 2016, 2017, I was desperate. This is where I reached the peak of how bad my acne would get. I was very desperate to find something to help me. I was trying different products, different brands. I was trying a bunch of stuff and nothing was working for me. I was using the Retin-A, but I didn't feel like it was making a huge difference in my skin. So I, I just like didn't know where to go at this point. So I was online on Sephora and they were having a sale. It was around Christmas time. So I ended up buying this little kit from Sephora. It's by First Aid Beauty. So what the kit had was a serum, a cleanser, a moisturizer. And I think it also had like a little mask in it. But when I started using those products, I could see a difference in my skin. It wasn't a huge difference, but my skin just wasn't breaking out as much and I just felt like those products really helped me. If I can find it on Sephora, I'll link it down below. I feel like it really helped me like 
start to clear up my skin. My skin looked a little healthier than what it was looking. I mean, I was still getting a bunch of breakouts, but I felt like it was like a good start. So in 2018 and like 2019, I started to get acne treatments. The first acne treatment that I got was a laser skin rejuvenation treatment. They put like a charcoal mask on you. They take the laser and they go over your skin and they start to remove that charcoal mask. And what this laser treatment did is it was supposed to kill off bacteria, prevent any acne from coming back, and it's also supposed to make your skin look a lot more glowy and it's supposed to help your hyperpigmentation. After getting the laser treatment, I did notice that I was getting a lot less breakouts and I was getting compliments on my skin at this point, but I was still not very happy. So then that's when I decided that I wanted to do microneedling. You guys don't know what microneedling is. It's a treatment that's supposed to promote more collagen. It's supposed to help with textured skin and it's good for anti-aging. And what they do during the treatment is they actually numb you. So they put numbing cream all over your face and they leave it on for about 30 minutes. They take it off and then they get this like pen. And at the end of the pen, it has a bunch of needles and the needles just like puncture your skin. And so it's supposed to promote more collagen. And while they do the procedure, they put drops of hyaluronic acid onto your skin. And hyaluronic is actually found in our bodies. We actually produce it naturally. It's good for your skin. It's good for hydration. It's an amazing product, honestly. If you guys can find any pure hyaluronic, you have to make sure that it's pure, make sure it's not mixed with any other oils. If you can get it, it's amazing, I recommend it. My skin always looks so much better when I put hyaluronic serum on. But back to the microneedling. Um, so I did get about five treatments of that. And the first couple of treatments, I did notice a difference and I feel like my skin looks so much better. I would get so many compliments. People would always ask me what I was doing to my skin to make it look a lot healthier and I would tell them. So with the first few treatments, I was happy with my results. But I did get five treatments in total and at the end of it, I was not happy. I was not. And this is me speaking from my experience. I know it's different for everybody's skin. It might not work for everybody. And I just feel like it didn't really work the way I wanted it to work. I was told that I was gonna help with my acne scars. It did not. I still have a lot of acne scars. My acne scars did not go anywhere. It did not go away. They're still there. They said that it would help with my pores. I feel like my pores are actually bigger now than when I first started the microneedling. And also, the microneedling was actually very expensive. I got five treatments for like 900. I'm not gonna lie, it was like $900 for five treatments. And it's very expensive and I wouldn't do it again. Also, when you're doing microneedling procedures, they do recommend that you use hyaluronic to hydrate your skin. So after my procedures, I would go home and you have to use the hyaluronic multiple times a day to keep the moisture in because your skin gets very dry and very flaky. So you have to use hyaluronic. Um, even after I stopped getting my procedures done, I would still use my hyaluronic because again, it just made my skin look amazing, very glowy very healthy so i just love the product and i just continue to use it at the time that i was using the hyaluronic serum i was using the african black soap as a cleanser and when i tell you that thing works like it works you have to use a little bit if your skin is very sensitive i would only use it like a couple times a week maybe that african black soap really did prevent me from getting acne and it was crazy, like it's something natural and I do recommend that you guys try it because it's, it's very inexpensive. You can use the little African black soap and then use the shea butter after to hydrate you. You will look greasy. I like to use the shea butter at night only, um, but you will look greasy, but it's worth it because your skin will look so hydrated. You will not feel dry and then along with the hyaluronic, your skin is not gonna be dry, it's gonna be very hydrated. So yeah, at that time, I was using African black soap, shea butter, and hyaluronic, and my skin started to really clear up. I wasn't seeing as much acne. I mean, again, that could also be due to the fact that I got those treatments done. I was also making sure to eat less dairy, to wear makeup only a couple times a week instead of every day, you know, just giving my skin time to breathe. It's always important to let your skin breathe. I also don't drink sugary drinks. I used to drink soda every day with every meal and I just thought it was like so delicious and I feel like I needed it. 
but then my mom made a change in her diet and she stopped drinking sugary drinks so then i stopped drinking sugary drinks and it really did make a difference it made a difference in my weight and also in my skin so i would recommend that you guys try that so now let's talk about my skin this year in 2020 so my skin is a lot better i feel like this is the best that it's looked in a while i've noticed that i only break out now like if i'm about to get my period or if i'm really stressed out like i know when i go on break from school like my skin is like thriving and then when i'm about to go back to school and start the semester i start to break out a lot but overall i don't break out like i used to like when i do break out it'll be like a pimple here a pimple there maybe one on my chin but it's not like a lot like i'm not breaking out like i used to i used to break out like in groups honestly and don't get me wrong i still have a bunch of acne scars those have not gone away i still have a lot of redness i have hyperpigmentation but as far as my acne breakouts go like i'm not getting any and when i do it's only a couple which i am so thankful for i'm gonna show you guys close up this is my skin right now as you guys can see i do have acne scars i have big pores I have red spots all over, hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation right here. I have big pores around my lips and that's because I was popping my pimples when I was in middle school. And then on this side, I have a bunch of acne scars and hyperpigmentation as well. So as you guys can see, my skin is not perfect. It's not. I'm trying to get it to where you know it looks better i'm still trying to figure out like how to get the redness to go away and like how to get rid of hyperpigmentation but that'll come that'll come eventually i'm just happy that i'm not getting so much acne like i used to i also started to use these little gummies so these gummies are for hydrated youthful skin they have hyaluronic acid which i told you guys was amazing it has collagen which is amazing and sea buckthorn. I don't really know what sea buckthorn is. I can't really tell you. I got these from Target. I think they were like 15 or $16. I definitely recommend these. I've been getting so many compliments since I've been using these and I just feel like my skin is so much hydrated now. But honestly, this journey has been so hard <laughs> for me at least. So hard and so frustrating because you know, you want your skin to look good. You want products to work for you. You want your skin to act right. I just feel like a happier person now because I know when I had all that acne, I felt so down about myself. I felt like I wasn't pretty, like I didn't want to go out, like I was embarrassed. And for all of you out there who are going through this right now, do not give up. And also don't be too hard on yourself because almost everybody gets acne. Let's be real. Also take care of yourself, work out, drink water, eat healthier that'll also help you well i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it very informative i know it's different for a lot of people and you know for some people it may be easier to clear their acne clear their breakouts but it was very difficult for me to find what worked and what didn't so if you guys have any questions about any of the products that i specifically mentioned in this video you guys can go ahead and dm me on instagram or leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions about any of the products that i used or any of the treatments that i went through then definitely ask me like i'm open to answering any questions but for any of you who are going through this i am sending you so much positivity i hope your skin thrives i hope it flourishes i hope it clears up i really do because it's tough but thank you guys so much for coming back and watching this video i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you guys next time